Hello everybody, my name is Dustin Ponder. I'm candidate for secretary treasurer on the 512 Teamsters United slate that's running here in local 512 in Jacksonville in November. Uh, we want to make a short video for our members just to talk a little bit about our plans both for fiscal stewardship in our union and for financial transparency. That's a key campaign point that we've been talking about with a lot of our members and as your candidate for secretary treasurer I wanted to go into a little detail about that. First and foremost we're one of the most powerful unions in North Florida. We have almost 2.5 million dollars in dues receipts that come in every year. Now recently we've been out talking to our members and showing folks uh, the publicly available tax document that our union reports every every year. It's called an LM2 report. You know, we pointed out some key things, some issues we believe uh, need to be looked at and questioned by the membership. There's a lot of extensive costs that are going for all kinds of crazy things. Uh, over $11,000 for lawn maintenance. You may have seen us talk a little bit about paying over $59,000 in lost time and release time wages for union people. I want to talk a little bit about our plan for positive change in the union. First and foremost, as your secretary treasurer, we're going to cut the fat. Our movement, 512 Teamsters United, has already proposed to remove the Cadillac car allowance that goes to our union officials every year. But beyond that, if we win in November, we're going to cut the salaries of top officers. We're going to cut the perks. We're going to bring that down to a reasonable level that anybody should be able to live on. But no more living on the high hog while our members are out here and they don't see their business agents. You know, we pay almost $1.2 million a year in salaries and benefits to business agents, officers, and quote-unquote organizers. Now, I don't need to tell our members. We haven't organized any new shops in almost a decade. So, our point is not to say that we don't believe in paying business agents, organizers, or even paying stewards on lost time. But what our members want to see is that those dues money, they are spent and entrusted and used wisely. We want to see results from that. Our problem is not with the concept of lost time or compensating our members. Although I will say, we think there is a place for volunteering in the union. Many of our members, many of our future steward candidates, we go out there, we donate our time to the union. We believe in this and we have no problem spending our hard earned, you know, off time, off the clock, being engaged and participating in the union. That said, we have no problem paying lost time, but what our members want to see is financial and fiscal transparency. We want to know who's being paid and what they're doing. Right now, that $59,000 being paid to stewards for lost time, we have no idea what it's being paid for. Are these people organizing? Are they engaging in contract negotiations? Are they going to panels? And it's one thing to pay them, but it's another to show the results are we signing up new members? We actually lost over a thousand members year over year on our last LM2 report while we paid $60,000 to organizers. That's unacceptable. Are we winning panel cases? I'll just tell you, the local union's current record at panel is not good. So why are we paying $60,000 for failed results? Our whole issue, we have no problem, but we want our members to have a say they want, we want our members to actually see what their dues money is going towards, and we want to show results. If we're paying an organizer, we expect those organizers to sign up new members. If we're paying somebody at contract negotiations, we expect to win strong contracts. And if we're paying somebody as a steward to do representational duties, we expect them to actually enforce the contract, win grievances, and win panel cases. Not to sit on their phone and play Candy Crush or just to hand out a few hot dogs for 30 minutes and then collect eight hours of pay. So you have our promise as 512 Teamsters United. We're going to cut the fat. We're going to increase the number of business agents and organizers with our plan. We're going to cut over $100,000 of wasteful spending right off the bat. And you are going to see direct results. And I'll tell you this, we've spent a lot of time going down to the Union Hall trying to get them to open up the books and show us the receipts. The locals claim that their trustees oversee everything. We all know that all of their trustees are part of the same system that they have going on right now. And it is interesting to note that two of the trustees will no longer be on their slate and their secretary treasurer is going away once we've started to ask them to open the books. 
So we do have some questions about that. But my promise as Secretary Treasurer, if you elect us, you come into the Union Hall, we have no problem showing you itemized receipts, how every bit of your money is being spent and who it is being paid to and the results that you're getting from that. Beyond that, we actually have a plan to grow the union. We're going to go sign up non-members. We're going to organize non-union companies and increase the financial and fiscal power of our union. So thank you for taking the time to watch this video. As always, you can reach out to any of our candidates. My phone number is 917-946-6430. I invite anybody who has a question, call me anytime. Again, on our Facebook page, we have the public links to the LM2 reports for you guys to look over. And if you have any questions, we'll always be here. Solidarity, folks. We look forward to talking to you at the gates here soon.